one it's Brandon here so you can see I have a two fairly good sized boxes uh, this is my order from bulkreefsupply.com um, just came in not long ago only took a few days um, ordered it on Friday shipped out Friday and it's Wednesday today and I got it today um, so um, I know what's in this big box. This is my rock, my dry rock, um, 24 pounds um, is what they're saying this package is. So I'm going to move that off to the side for right now and open up this box here. So. I believe I know what's in this one. Lots of packing noodles. <laughs> BRS, Bunker Spice, notorious for that. But that's a good thing. At least you know your stuff's in there nice and, and safe. So, now I gotta dig through these here to reveal what is inside. Alright. Okay, so we've got the Corellia Evolution 550 power head. So ordered that for the Nano. Um, we'll see what size it is. Size of it here. Well, it's a fair size. It's about the same size as my other one, so that might actually be too much of a pump. So we'll see. Um, may have to return that. Didn't think it was going to be that size. Um, and then dig further in here. Alrighty, so then we have the Bulk Reef Supply Bio Pellets, a thousand milliliter package of them. That is going to the winner of my contest giveaway. Um, it's going to Ricketts Reef. Um, and he will um, do a review on these and um, hopefully he enjoys using them. They uh, sound pretty promising of a product, so so there you are. I received them today. I'll get them shipped out today as well to you, dude. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Okay, so I believe that's it for box number one. Try to throw out those packing noodles as soon as possible because the kids will get them <laughs> and it'll be a mess all over the house. So let's open up this here. And once again more packing noodles <laughs> uh, let's see how I'm going to do this here without making a huge mess um, okay cool the rocks in here um, I will get this unboxed and then uh, so that way I don't have to make a huge mess I'll get all these packing noodles out of here and then uh, I will come back with the rest of the video once I get these packing noodles out. Okay, guys, yeah, I'm back. Um, got at least 90% of the packing noodles out of there. Um, so, here's the rock here, guys. Um, pretty porous rock. Um, it's really light in color. It's like white. Um, it's, it's a mind rock. It's uh, 
This is the uh, BRS, I believe it's called a Reef Saver Rock. Um, really good for stacking and making a nice scape. Um, so I just basically told them what size of tank I was putting it in and uh, asked them if they could send me you know, appropriate sizes and so far from what I can see they've you know, they've sent appropriate size rocks. Um, really nice and cool looking like when they say it like it, it fits together, like there's two pieces of rock right there. Well obviously underwater and stuff it'll stick out there you go. Stick a lot. But it kinda of fits together kinda of like a kinda of like puzzle pieces, so um, some pieces are got a little bit of different uh, coloring to them. Um, I'm gonna have to uh, soak these for a bit before I put them into the tank. Um, I was planning on just throwing them in, um, but they are really dusty, so um, I'm gonna have to uh, definitely soak them. Um, as far as breakage, I don't see. There's just little tiny, tiny little pieces, like, not even, you could, would, I couldn't even consider it, like, rubble. But, pretty nice shapes. Not really going to find these in much of your live rock that you buy from the store. Um, so looks pretty cool. You can see there's some dust coming off of it here. Yeah, there's some nice, nice chunks of rock. So I can't wait to uh, get my scoop going. Um, so it's 25. Uh, sorry about that, guys. That's my skimmer just turning on. Um, it's 20. I ordered 20 pounds of rock. Um, it's marked as 24 pounds of rock on on the uh, box. So I don't know if they just gave me a little bit extra, um, maybe compensate for any breaking break in pieces but uh, it comes in a clear clear plastic bag okay with noodles packing noodles underneath um, so those are all the pieces I got to work with it looks like it's gonna uh, you know they sent me perfect size pieces for what I need for my application so kudos to them uh, for actually looking at the comments and uh, you know giving the customer exactly what they want so that's all guys, take care, um, I'm going to soak these or at least rinse them off quite a bit, um, I don't know if I'm, because I'm, I'm using 100% of my old tank water in this new tank, um, and I've got live sand in there from another tank that I've had up for a while, um, there's no die off, there's no critters or any die off on this, um, so I think as long as I soak it, probably for a couple of days at least, give it a nice shake off, get all the dust and, and stuff like that off of there, um, then the bacteria from the water and the sand will will eventually go on this rock and seed it. So um, I'm not going to use any live rock to seed this rock um, because I bought this rock to make sure I don't get any pests or critters, right? So um, if I get a chunk of live rock, you know, might have something in that I don't know, and then it's going to grow all over my nice, fresh, cool-looking rock here. So, um, again, guys, that's all for, for now. Um, stay tuned, and uh, I'll make sure to get some more videos up for you guys. So, take care, and happy reefing.